Hey Peaky people. Uh, so I wanted to give you a little update about Reese. We had to go to the vet to get her teeth looked at. So this is Wednesday right now. So it was last week, Wednesday, Thursday. She seemed a little off. Like I couldn't put my finger on it. She just seemed a little less active and was being a bit picky with food. So I had given her some pain meds and some gas drops in case she was gassy. And then Friday morning, she wouldn't even eat vegetables. She would like try to pick them up and drop them. So it was really weird. So I made an appointment for her to get her mouth looked at. So they looked at her mouth while she was awake and said that her teeth looked great. Like her molars were nice and short. Her incisors weren't overgrown. Like everything looked normal. So we were to treat her as if she was like in the start of stasis because she was starting to have smaller poops, dried out poops. So I got her put on motility meds and still did pain meds and I still did gas drops and some extra hand feeding. And she got a little better, but you could still tell that she was having trouble with biting off pieces of vegetable and sometimes chewing and she would do these weird mouth motions that you'll see when they have something stuck but she was doing it way too often so I'll put a little clip of that so the first clip will be of the mouth movement I'm talking about every pig does it once in a while but she was doing it all the time and then the second part of the clip you'll see that she's having a hard time just biting off a piece of radicchio and ends up using her foot to help her get a piece So she still won't eat her tomatoes, so that was the big thing, she would not bite into a tomato anymore, so that hasn't happened yet, but anyway. So she still was being weird, so yesterday, which was Tuesday, she went to the vet again, and they sedated her to have a more thorough look, to like look in her cheeks, her under her tongue, all of that. So the vet still agreed that her teeth look awesome, but behind her um, bottom incisors there is a bunch of debris kind of stuck down by her gum line and her gums there looked inflamed and irritated so it didn't look like any abscess or infection but definite irritation so they got rid of that junk that was sitting there and now we are on antibiotics in case there's any bacteria down in the gum line and still doing the pain meds and still doing motility meds just to make sure that everything is moving properly. So this is the first morning after her procedure. So yesterday, like last night, she was quite quiet and a little bit puffy because she is very nervous at the vet. So I know the whole time she was there she wouldn't eat any of her stuff I had in her cage. So I think her stomach just didn't feel that great, but luckily this morning she looks her normal physique and she seems a lot more lively already. Like she was kind of just sticking to a couple parts of the cage when she wasn't feeling right. And this morning while I was tidying up, she was like the other pigs going around, you know, running this way, running that way, checking out this, checking out that. So that's nice. Are you feeling better? So I imagine with that junk sitting down there, it was affecting how she felt for biting stuff off. It probably ached. So I think we all know if we have something stuck in our teeth or whatever, it can ache and feel really crappy. So I imagine that's what she was having, that her mouth just hurt. So we're on antibiotics for two weeks, and I'm going to keep up with her pain meds and her cisapride for her tummy just to make sure things are going well and I just have to really watch her poops to make sure that her stomach's not going off so she's on Baytril which is 
the one antibiotic I don't like, but it's the best for what she has going on. So I really have to watch that she's pooping properly or else we'll do probiotics. And I find the best probiotics is just taking a poop from a healthy pig, mixing it with water and giving it to the pig that needs it. So I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I'm really glad that she was able to be seen quickly. On another note, we have a very sassy baby. She is very cheeky to Raisin. So Raisin was the bottom pig, but when Beta came, obviously Raisin was bossing her. But I honestly don't know if that's going to stick because Veda is very sassy with her right now. So Veda is going to be getting into the stage where her hormones are coming in. So I don't know if Raisin's going to have to be bottom pig again because I have watched Veda push Raisin out of spots and snap at her. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I've seen her be cheeky to Reese, but Reese just uh, does like the little snap back. Uh, she's tried to be cheeky to Velvet, same thing, she just gets pushed away. But I've seen Raisin actually move for her, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Very, very cheeky baby. She's right in that tunnel, so I can't see her right at the moment. Oh, there she is. Hi, baby Veda. Hi, sweetie. Are you a cheeky monkey? So there is the sassy baby. Cheeky, cheeky. I think she's going to be a handful. Are you cheeky, little Veda? I think you are. You know it. So here is the trio. We have Annalise. So Annalise, you can tell her different from Annabelle because people often ask. She's more of a brown and then she has a little bit of blonde on her nose where Annabelle over here is all black. So it's quite easy to tell once you know that. And then we have little Buzz Man, the blonde beauty. So these guys are doing awesome together. Buzz is so happy and I see him popcorning all the time. He still is a little bit nervous when I walk around the cage. So if he's like, say in the back there and I'm walking behind, he usually runs out. So I would really like if he would stop doing that because then sometimes he works up the girls like making them think something scary just happened and I'm like, nope, I'm just walking. But there's lots of times where he thinks about running to leave but he sees that the girls are still staying so he'll stay. So he's doing great. And I still pick him up every cage cleaning to give him a snuggle and he's so great for snuggling. He's just very happy and the girls are super happy too. Um, I see him groom them and they groom him. He still has the little bit of a annoying moments where he's sniffing their butt but I mean nothing major. They all seem super comfortable and really happy and I'm so glad. It's nice for all of them. And he's getting a little bit bigger, slowly. I don't think he's going to be a super big boar. Nothing like Huckle, I don't think. <laughs> and there's Miss Autumn and Angus. Hi, Bunny. How are you? Hi, Autumn. Oh, somebody's flirting with you over there. Who is that, Buzz? She's pretty too, isn't she? Yeah. Are you excited, little baby boy? What are you doing, little Buzz? You're so cute. Are you going to come back? Where's the little Buzz man? Hi, little Annie Banani. How are you? You're so pretty. And how are you, Annabelle? You're just the cutest. There he comes. Back he goes. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!